Here we are looking at a six spindle cone where the uh, setup man is looking at the cam in there. We'll take another look at that in just a second. Good. Want to run it? Go ahead. Can you run it? For You wouldn't want to do that. I can understand. This one cuts off two pieces of side of wood. On opposite side? Yep. One piece on this side, one piece on this side. Right, right. The one that's being cut off right now. This is controlled by the can up here on the top. It's very slowly rotating. All you, all you slide, slide, yeah. slide, slide, all operated by them cans on top. All right. You sort of take so much as a day and a half to set this up, right? Yeah, all right, yeah. All caught now, I'm not checking them until the power half of it. Yeah. Good shot. That's what it is. Just to get that. The rugged machines, though. Uh, they, they, they got dates here on some of them, the patent numbers. You got August. 31, 1937, 36. Wow. <laughs> These are in you. Get that index in again. Stop, stop, thumbs up. Push it without the piece on top. Yeah, beautiful. The, the operations you've got on here basically include uh, step. We, we got we got drilling, we got yep. turning, we got forming, and then we got boring on the bottom. Okay. The first first position would be right here. Yep. And that drills and turns. Drills the ID and turns the OD. Okay. And then, then down bottom we. Uh, we got a form. No, that's a facing tool. Wrong job. Uh, it faces the first piece and, okay. bore, and bores it. Yeah, yeah. You're starting, starting with solid stock here. You're not working with tube stock, right? No, nope. not with solid stock. Yeah, so you got to cut that whole center up entirely. Yeah. The bearing industry typically uses uh, tube stock on a partial size. Yeah. Now we got some uh, bearing material down on so the yeah. end. Yep. That we tubing that we run. Yeah. We make uh, outer races. 